There is no better way to see the great city of Chicago than from high above in one of its greatest skyscrapers. The John Hancock Building is synonymous with the skyline of Chicago, and near the top of this architectural wonder is their new observation deck called 360 Chicago. With fantastic views encompassing all of Chicago, 360 Chicago also gives visitors a chance to look straight down in what they call the tilt. So hang on and hold tight as we meet with 360 Chicago's own Nicole Williamson at the top of Chicago in the John Hancock building as we experience tilt for ourselves. Well, you know, there's so much going on in Chicago. This is a diverse town, food, you've got obviously great architecture. You've got culture here, you've got music, you've got all. But I heard you're the expert on Chicago <laughs> and you can tell me what's going on. What What are the things to see in Chicago while you're here? So you mentioned earlier we had a really terrible winter and Chicago's known for, for having... The windy city. Right. Some rough winters, right? Keeps you inside for several months. So my favorite thing about Chicago is the way the city comes alive in the summer. Uh, there's something free and exciting to do absolutely every weekend. Every neighborhood in Chicago has a big festival, um, in a street festival they shut down the streets, they bring in music and food. Uh, there's great live music in uh, Millennium Park as well, right downtown. Uh, and it's all either free or very affordable, so it's something very approachable for visitors to the city as well yeah. as residents. And then there's our restaurant scene, which continues oh, to grow. Food tours. We've yeah. got all these food tours. We've gone to, uh, you know, Wicker Park area. We've yeah. gone to Old Chicago area. There's the sidewalk cafes and the dining al fresco. It's it's amazing. There's an entire festival dedicated just to food trucks here, where they get a big parking lot. They bring all the food trucks to one location, and you can walk around and, and dine off each one of them. It's really exciting. Yeah, and with the comedy clubs, we went down and we actually shot at Second City. That was amazing. What an experience there. It's uh, almost the like a comedy is, university. It is. It's, I mean, it, it's the home of uh, what gave birth to Saturday Night Live and, and the history and, and, and the, 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 the talent that has gone through those doors over the years is pretty spectacular. So have you lived here your whole life or are you transplanted? I've been in the city 15 years and I've been in the area most of my life. Okay, so tell me a little bit about more about this building itself and sure. some of the things we can expect to see here. Absolutely. So the John Hancock Center is located right on uh, the Magnificent Mile, 875 North Michigan Avenue. Uh, it was uh, one of the very first and tallest uh, mixed-use buildings to go up. Broke around in 1965, they topped it off in 1968, and the building opened to the public in 1970. Uh, it is a mixed-use building, as I said, which means that it's a combination of restaurant, retail, office, and residential. We're standing on top of 700 residential units right now, wow. all individually owned. I didn't realize it was residential. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so the 42nd to the 91st floor are all residential nice. units. Uh, and then there's about a million and a half square feet of office space as well. Uh, there's a restaurant and a lounge on the 95th and 96th floor, and then a retail concourse on the lower level as well. So now is there anything else above us? Above us is yeah. the restaurant and lounge, okay. and then be above that is uh, the broadcast. So those yeah, two those... beautiful antennas on the top of the building okay. aren't just there for looks. They actually support three floors of broadcast here in the building. Wow, so there's literally broadcasting going on here. Mm -hmm. uh, so is that television, radio? Absolutely, television and radio. They also um, uh, emergency services, the hospitals use the broadcast antennas, um, uh, and some of the government agencies as well. So now, is this the highest building in Chicago? It is not, believe it okay. or not. Uh, it One is of the, the highest. fourth tallest. Okay, all right. Uh, so Chicago has uh, quite the history of, of um, architecture and skyscrapers. Uh, and when we were built, we were the tallest. Uh, okay. But the Sears Tower opened a few years after us, now called the Willis Tower. That is the tallest building in Chicago and is uh, currently still the tallest building in North America, although uh, the new building going up at the World Trade Center in New York City is, I think, contending yeah, for that title, yeah. We, we had heard when we were on the architecture tour that they had planned down in the other part of the river to build the world's tallest building at one point. That's it true. Didn't, didn't happen. That's true. The uh, the foundation for that still exists. Yeah, right. And they covered it up in dirt, so it is now the world's most expensive foundation, I assume. Uh, you never know, maybe one day they'll under, go back there, right? It, it's there, so I'm sure at some point some developer is going to decide they'd like to try to start that again, but that was going to be called the uh, Chicago Spire, okay. and that was meant to open several years ago, and unfortunately when the economic, economic downturn happened, yeah. that project was stalled. Things slowed down. Well, yeah. it's back. Chicago's back, and it yeah. is beautiful, and there's so much going on. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, right here at 360 Chicago, you can come up and you can see everything. You know, we think it's a great place to start your visit. It, it gives is. you a good, a, an opportunity to get your bearings and really understand the different neighborhoods and uh, get an understanding of how Michigan Avenue relates to the river and downtown Chicago. Uh, and we also have great technology that teaches you a little bit about the buildings and the sites that you can see. So it's a good place to start your visit and then plan the rest of your time here in That's Chicago. That's right, and not to mention, come see Tilt while you're yes, here, right? absolutely. Love it. Well, thanks so much, Thanks Nicole. so much. It was such a pleasure. We're so happy to have you all here. Thank you. And thank you so much for being here with us. 
And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.